This is a tutorial for how to replace a laptop screen and an MSI GL626QF. Basically, the, uh, the customer has uh, broken his screen that's sitting right here. I've already gone ahead and removed this trim here. I use this spledger tool right here to come in here and basically get around everything and pop the, the plastic joints. And then, as you can see here, this is the screen that is broken. I've already gone ahead and disconnected it. This is a, a 30 pin cable here that would connect to right there on this screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the new screen in that I've just received from um, uh, laptopscreen.com. This is the new screen here. I still have the uh, the plastic on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach this 30 pin cable to here. Okay, now that I have inserted the cable back into its spot, I'm gonna go ahead and take the screen and flip it up and put it back in. You can see that there's four screws that you have to put in once your screen is up. You need to put those screws back in with a small Phillips. I'm going to go ahead and flip this back up now. With the screen back up now, you can see that these are the spots I'm speaking of that the screws go. So I'm going to go ahead and take a, a small Phillips here and install the screws. Alright, now that I got my screws installed down here, you can see in all four corners. I'm going to go ahead and test and make sure that the screen turns on before I pull off this plastic and hit the power button. You can see that we do have a good screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the computer back off and pull this plastic off and install the bezel. Make sure she turns off. Okay. This is the bezel here. It was around that. You want to make sure that you put it back into place properly. Then you can go ahead and just start snapping it in. Now this is a pretty uh, small screen. This is one of the newer laptops that have a very thin screen to it. So you definitely want to make sure that you got everything snapped in. In here, it's not hard at all to do. Basically, this screen broke from a customer closing his uh, AC power cord in the actual screen in between the keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and snap this last bit together. All right, now that I have my bezel on, we want to turn it on, make sure there's uh, no dead pixels on here. You can see that went together pretty smooth. It was a pretty easy uh, job, even uh, with this assembly, especially as with having one of these plastic splitters here. I got a nice pick on the other side. You can see we got a nice new screen in here. Alright, thank you.